We're going to get Comprehend on the uh, uh, live, local and loud, uh, first of all. And here's a track from him called Journey. <laughs> You're only gonna get one life, so have fun with it And it can be a crazy ride, but just come and sit Instead of spending time inside feeling numb and You'll see the sun can always shine if you look for it So try some things that you never thought you'd dare to do Don't be a wimp, it's just the idea that is scaring you Cause what it brings does more for fear than what prayers can do And time is thin, so while I'm here I'm gonna share the truth You see the clock and say it's too late to do great Well now's your shot, so don't use your age to excuse fate It's not a loss if you see new places today Cause this world's got lots for you to view, so grab your suitcase I wanna sail all of the oceans and reach the mountains I want some tales so provoking you leave astounded wow. Not just on my phone posting while I read about it Cause I would rather fail than knowing that I've been without risk There's nothing like that sand in your toes hey. And there's nothing like that sun in your face hey. So like an ocean, just go with the flow yeah. And say it's time that I'm done with the hate I'm done. So hear me, hear me if you wanna see yeah. How we're free, we're free if we wanna be uh. Said hear me, hear me if you wanna see yeah. How we're free, we're free if we wanna be uh. I spent some time with myself so I can get to know me It's true when you're going through hell then you're your only homie I've learned to climb out of my shell when life was getting lonely yeah. So now I've never felt more well, this is my testimony Listen to the lyrics that I spit Cause every day that we are living is a gift I wanna travel distances and give To make a difference in the system that we live Cause life experience is good for our souls So I don't wanna put my fear in things that help me evolve I'm gonna steer my wings to reach for the sky Cause I will be the king of everything I'm seeking in life Said, I'll be everything I plan to be Like a lucid dream, I'm in control of all my fantasies yeah, I just wanna live thankfully Though I'm a human being, I don't feel the pressure like gravity uh. There's nothing like that sand in your toes And there's nothing like that sun in your face So like an ocean, just go with the flow And say it's time that I'm done with the hate So hear me, hear me if you wanna see How we're free, we're free if we wanna be Said hear me, hear me if you wanna see How we're free, we're free if we wanna be You're always gonna have the chance to see new things It's like I've been going branch to branch when my mood swings If all you care about's your bank, tell me who wins I just wanna travel lands, don't care what you think There's cultures in this world that I am yet to see And you don't need to peddle me some to set me free I know what's meant to be is meant to be like destiny the remedy to better me is melodies and clever schemes I'm feeling buzzing cause I'm no longer showing grief it helped with nothing it just blocked my mind from knowing peace to keep on pushing forward make sure you don't retreat instead of being cautious and living cozily we need to generate love and stop hate it's time that we all wake up and not wait if you wanna change stuff then vibrate in a different way, cause our time's great. There's nothing like that sand in your toes. And there's nothing like that sun in your face. So like an ocean, just go with the flow. And say it's time that I'm done with the hate. So hear me, hear me if you wanna see. How we're free, we're free if we wanna be. Said hear me, hear me if you wanna see. How we're free, we're free if we wanna be. I would like to welcome uh, Comprehend to our studio. Comprehend, welcome. We just heard your track there called Journey. 
Yes, welcome. thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. I appreciate it. No, you're most welcome. Uh, tell us a little bit about your your your, uh, your background and your music. You know what what, uh, what sort of uh, style? What influences your music? So uh, my music is it's mainly hip hop. Um, I draw a lot of influence from old school hip hop, so sort of '90s uh, style lyricism and and wordplay that sort of stuff. Um, so that's that's kind of what my music is. Um, but yeah, it's 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 quite a conscious vibe. You know, I like to have I like to carry message in my my lyrics. I don't like it to be sort of um, yeah meaningless. Okay, so, so, yeah. when you say um, uh, uh, '90s. Um, Give us a name of a few bands that you kind of uh, used to listen to, and so um, you know, like uh, um, early Fifty Cent people like that. He's probably early two thousands, but Eminem, um, you know, uh, Biggie, Tupac, um, all the all the originals, Dr. Dre, um, Snoop, or every all all of the uh, sort of old school artists that that are, are quite big now. Um, but also like Loki, Logic, Akala, they're more newer artists. I draw a lot of inspiration from them with their sort of heavy conscious messages. Um, so it's kind of a medley of old and new artists, but but yeah. always always meaningful music really. And uh, how long have you actually been performing? Um, so I've been I've been uh, an artist properly for, for probably about four years now, four and a half years. Um, I, I would class that as the same amount of time I, I've been performing. Um, but yeah, that's sort of how long I've been I've been doing it. And uh, in terms of um, gig, gigging and venues and so on, can you give us a bit of a feel for um, you know local venues and whether you sort of go further afield? Yeah, so local venues. I mean, I've done I've done quite a lot of uh, shows in Leicester, so I've I've been at sort of uh, Sound House. Um, Shed, uh, Two Funky Music Calf, um, Brew Dog, Western Park um, Festival, we Western saw, yeah, Park Festival. Week. Yeah, so so I've done all over in in Leicester, and then outside of Leicester, as part of my Pariah tour that I've been uh, doing recently, I um, I've been I've been sort of Brixton, Margate. Um, I've got Bristol coming up at the end wow. of the month, um, and then local shows as well. So I've just been trying to get out further, but that's been um, I've been supporting Skinny Man at those those dates. So right. with the help of him, I've managed to to do more shows outside of Leicester. Um, but he always draws a great crowd, and and he's a sick guy. But, but that's yeah. brilliant. It must be amazing playing place places like Brixton. Yeah, yeah, it's Bristol. crazy. It's crazy, and especially sort of being with one of the headline acts and being just before them. So it's 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 not like sort of a, a dead slot. It's it's one of the most important slots of the night. So it's it's always amazing. Is there it. much of a hip hop scene here in Leicester? Um, yeah, yeah, there is, but it's quite underground. You right. sort of have to know to know. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You have to know I people. <laughs> or maybe, maybe. I mean, it's, I take it's mostly at Too Funky and places like that. Yeah, uh, Either FM, uh, they, they have a lot of um, impact on it. They put on a lot of open mic nights oh, and okay. stuff that, that a lot of rappers go to and stuff. It is it is quite uh, prominent here, but like I say, you just have to know where to, where to see it. Yeah, because I see you've played at uh, HQ's... Um, competitive open mic night yeah. night. What's that all about? A competitive one. Um, you compete against each so, other. So yeah, so they basically have an open mic night and um the the best act wins a studio time and a music best video. Best act of the night. Yeah, yeah. In the open mic. So um so you know they don't always take into account how good you are necessarily like it's it's comp um, comparative with uh how long you've been doing it um how how many times you perform live do you know what i mean if someone came up and it was the first ever time they perform live they might win if they if they right, if they, they have account. done themselves proud yeah do you know what i mean they take okay. into account so it's not necessarily just the best person because then you know someone who's been doing it a while could just come in and win a free music That's video it. but but yeah they take a lot of things into account and and it's great comprehend it tell us about your fan or fans in australia yeah, so um, I had my first international sale um, of my merch recently. I've sold CDs to Australian stuff before, but um, but yeah, I, um, I went travelling there quite a few years ago. And whilst I was travelling around, around, I met a lot of great people. And I was kind of talking about the fact I was doing rapping then, but um, I wasn't really doing it. And they just sort of spread the word. And then now I'm I'm just like... I get a lot of streams and stuff in Australia and like people buying my merch and stuff. It's, it's crazy. So it's mad to know I've got a support base over there. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But so how easy is it to get your name, uh, you know, out there, in, uh, particularly internationally? 
Um, it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult internationally, especially. I mean, I've done three shows in Cambodia. That was strange <laughs> when I was when I was there. Um, but it was. It, they loved it. Do you know what I mean? So I, I think it's all about just taking any opportunity to do what you love. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So I, I, if I go on holiday, always in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, where can I perform? Do you know what I mean? Just try and build some extra fans. But it's difficult. I mean, nowadays it's easier with technology because obviously you can do Facebook ads or you can do YouTube ads and, and yeah. things like that. But then you need money for that. Do you know what I mean? So so it depends how rustic you're being with it, really. So, so what have you got in the pipeline then? What can we look forward to? Um, quite a lot. So um, um, I've got a track rat, rat Race off my um, off my project Pariah. I've got a drum and bass remix coming for that, um, and it sounds really nice. Um, yeah, really really nice uh, 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 sound. Uh, they've made it different. Um, yeah, it just sounds sick. So I'm looking forward to putting that out. That'll be out probably within the next four weeks or so. Um, and then I've got new new songs on the way. I don't want to say too much because I'm still sort of em- embellishing in uh, Pariah and, and stuff like that. So I don't want to say too much. But, um, yeah, I've got, got a few new singles coming out and some videos. Yeah. Um, new music video for Broken off my project is out today at 2 p.m. Wow. Um, so look out for that. Um, that's Comprehend Official um, everywhere, um, just, just if you want to know. So, but, friend, uh, yeah. how do you know when a track's finished? Um... Not finished playing, but, you know, finished in terms in of terms final ready product. ready to, to yeah. put out. Um, there's a few stages. I mean, there's obviously the vocals, and then I like the beat to have certain adjustments, maybe, if it yeah. needs it. And then you've got the mix and mastering, which is the main thing for me. So um, I know it's ready. I don't know. I'll hear it through... Um, maybe my car speakers or and then and then my phone and then hear it through everywhere and if I sometimes things just come to me after hearing it five times so I won't yeah. just rush and say right that's done yeah. I'll, I'll have to hear it back over and over again and then eventually I'll I'll, I'll have the finished product and but, do you kind of like uh, send it to a sort of like a test audience or anything like that yeah yeah so yeah. there's certain friends I'll show and I'll take their feedback into consideration um, but but yeah um, I do I do take things like that into consideration but I don't like to get too much outside input because then you know you can't please everyone okay so it then maybe doesn't become your yeah your exactly work as it well, becomes yeah. theirs yeah exactly yeah, cool uh, Compren, it's been great having you on the show um sadly we're gonna have to let you go uh, can you uh, well first of all j- just tell our listeners uh, where they can get more information about you and your work and your music yeah so um yeah if, if you want to check me out it's comprehend official on all social medias uh, except twitter that's comprehend 101 uh youtube is comprehend official new music video is out today um but yeah i've also got a website uh www.comprehend.uk so make sure you go there check out the merch and upcoming shows but yeah thank you for having me guys i appreciate that fantastic uh we're gonna the next track we're gonna play is Broken. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about the song and also introduce it for us? Yeah, so um, Broken is the lead single uh, from my new project Pariah. Um, Broken is about our modern day obsession with vanity and social media and how it influences the way we perceive ourselves. Um, also, outside influences like celebrities and things like that. Um, so the song's really just about looking in the mirror and realizing you don't need to change just because someone else has told you to. Is 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 the main. Um, main uh, message but yeah the lead singer uh, sorry the singer off the track is Callan Fortune from Leicester uh, it's an amazing voice but um, yeah I hope you I hope you enjoy it Too lowly of ourselves because of what we're shown Through magazines on shelves and pictures on our phones Making girls feel like they're unwell unless we see their bones It's like we're all under a spell trying to be clones The media controls what is beautiful And everybody wants to sell their souls to feel suitable If we don't look how we're told to, we're unusual And if you dare to try and make a bold move, you're delusional They use celebrities to show us how we more stress They're good aesthetically, but inside they have much stress Which leads to remedies of alcohol and rub to have serenity, just focus on your looks less Cause I feel like we care way too much about what others think Always comparing stuff makes us think that we're struggling We have to dare to trust, to try and find the good in things Rejection's scary, but you have to learn to love within Feeling broken But this world won't break me down Cause these tears are only made for mine Pressure is rising Need her all around but you're a king, so don't forget your crown. 
proud that you're unique because no one else is you no. from your frown your walk your speech to the way you move yeah. you're probably insecure that's why you're craving views you can find value in your flaws any way you choose now you're in absurd debt from trying to look perfect oh. but what's it worth considering you're now worth less this is for the girls thinking that they've got the worst chest oh. or all the lads who feel disturbed by their third leg some girls need makeup to give themselves a fake look yeah. it's time we wake up we're not living in facebook no. we should appreciate how this universe made us instead it seems that we use hate to replace love i bet they call it instagram because it's like picking up when your picture lands then you get your quick fix when the likes go up now you're addicted to the cycle but now you're now you're feeling broken but this world won't break me down because these tears are only made for my pressure is rising But you're a king, so don't forget your crown. Everyone's a slave to profit. Some even talk about what others make like it's gossip. You need to focus on your aims, not your wallet. And demonstrate that we're still the same if we ain't got it. Yeah. Wrapped up in the illusion that it's imagery. We all see conclusions so we make our lives look glittery. But the truth is we're just disguising misery. Our time is spent online so we rely on lies and insta feeds. Feeling broken. But this world won't break me down Cause these tears are only made for mine Pressure is rising, yeah, it's rising. Media all around yeah. But you're a king so don't forget your crown, forget your crown. Just another land in a sheet of pines and pines Spelling out her life where hopes are not returned Why does it feel so bad? So sad Just another letter she opens and burns Dreaming of a life where love is not unlearned Why does it feel so bad? So sad
That's a letter from uh, local musician Luke Broughton. And uh, talking about local musicians, we move on and we've got uh, Danny from Our City Fires. Hey, Danny, welcome to the show. Hello. Hi, Thanks for having me. I'm really intrigued by the uh, the name of uh, the show, or the uh, band, not the show, uh, the band, uh, Our City Fires. Can you tell us uh, how you guys came up with that name? Um, a lot of arguing. <laughs> um, oh, we went through about 10,000 names. Um, and not being a massive city person myself, I'm from a little place called Shepshed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the big hustle and bustle of a city. So, um, the thought of you wanted to set it on fire. Yeah, derogatory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I couldn't go too too deep into it. There's no massively deep meaning to it. It's not brooding or anything. And um, you're a band. So who are the other members of the band? Um, we've got so there's five of us. Um, we've got Guy on rhythm guitar. Mm. Um, Harry is the lead guitarist. Um, we've got Danny on bass and Kieran on the drums. Uh, they couldn't be with us today. Um, Harry and uh, Danny are working. Uh, Kieran and Guy are on holiday, so. You're just lucky enough to have me. And we've got you on vocals. Yes, and you yeah. do a very, very good stage show as well, don't you? So vocals well, I try my best. around. Yeah. yeah, try my hardest. Yeah, it's always a, we like to put a good show on. People pay money to see us, so we're not going to stand there and scratch up. Exactly. Bottoms. No, exactly. Is that, I suppose, because you don't play an instrument, it's a little bit easier, isn't it, I suppose, singing in? It is. It's, it's, a, it's actually a, a mechanism to hide behind as well, I suppose, if you like. Um I get anxious standing still. Right. I don't like to be stood still. So I it's suppose because everybody's attention's on you. Yeah. So. If you yeah. So yeah, kind of just d- ducking and diving around. Right. You got the moose on the yeah. stage then. You're not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not Michael Jackson, but yeah, yeah. yeah. That is great. Oh, your guitarists as well. They're very animated. Aren't yeah, they? that's Especially it. Harry. Yeah. He, he makes funny faces every time I see him on the guitar. Yeah, he's got a funny face though. So he, well, he has. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, Danny, how did how did you guys get uh, sort of come together as a band? Um. Are you like schoolmates, or did you just sort of... Uh... So, half of the band are schoolmates. So we've got Kieran, Danny and Harry have been in bands together for years um, around Leicester. I've been doing the circuit myself for a while uh, with other bands um, and had met Guy in a band that never really got off the floor. And, um, yeah, we all just came together that kind of... In in that way, you know what I mean? Just being on the Leicester circuit together and getting to know each other, and we all just dropped in each other's lap, really. Because it's like a community, isn't it? I, I get the sense yeah, of between it does. musicians. Yeah, yeah. So you always seem to swap members. And... Within the the different genres, it is. Yeah. Um, I've been in the rock and acoustic genre myself. Um, so, yeah, I know quite a few people around Leicester. Yeah, because I, yeah. I was looking the other day about... In the last 10 years, probably about 90% of the bands that were around 10 years ago have all gone, but they've all come back as different Something bands in, yeah, yeah. in different mixtures. I think Harry and Kieran in particular have been around forever uh, on their Leicester yeah. scene. They've been out since they were babies. I'm trying to think what band Harry was in now. They're in the Reckless Youth. Yeah, that together. was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, with the... Because they're still around, aren't they, Reckless Youth? Uh, no, 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 no. No, they're... So the rest of joking? those have now um, formed another band called Oceans Apart. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. What I'm so they're doing really... But they just released an album, actually, if anyone wants to go and check their out. Right. Good friends of ours, so... Danny, let's uh, talk about your music, last but by no means least. What's the style of the music? And we've got a track... Uh, called Just Come Home, if you can tell us about your music and then introduce it for us. Um, the Yeah, this is the first single that we, we released. Um, it's Just Come Home off our EP, and if you want to see it live, then we'll be in Leicester this Thursday at The Cookie.
That's the old tr rock uh, sound of our city fires and just come home and you're live, local and loud. And uh, we've got Danny from the band with us today. He's the uh, the uh, lead vocalist. Uh, Danny, tell us a little bit about the gigs and venues. Where can people find you and what sort of shows do you do? Um, the shows are always energetic. Plenty of beer flowing about. Uh, plenty, plenty of people jumping about. Um, you can find us, I mean, all over the UK. We've got, we've got a... A UK tour coming up this week actually um, we start in London this Wednesday coming we'll be in Leicester at the Cookie um, this Thursday coming um, so tickets are available online so please go out and buy those and then it's Manchester Peterborough um, and Coventry crikey um, is that each consecutive night that's night for night yeah. my word yeah but then we're we're on we're also out in August and September as well on tours similar similar length, um, and I think so far we've got like Southampton, Burnley, Leeds, um, and there will be a Leicester date. I think probably in the September, in the September one. And after playing each one of those, do you have to come all the way home again and then no, go to work we, the next day and then? We we try. I mean, and um, the London and Leicester one. Well, we'll probably work. Um, just to make it feasible to keep this whole thing going. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's difficult to... People don't realise just how much money we spend on this kind of thing. So mm. if you want to buy some merch at a gig, I'll love you forever for it. But, so um, you need petrol money, don't you? Yeah, that's it. And um, beer money. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, what's your, uh, what would you say is your biggest big gig or the biggest band that you've kind of played with? Um, well, we've played with so many bands now that are just amazing don't get the recognition that they deserve I suppose but um, we play with a band um, quite a few times we play, we supported them in Leicester called All Days of Val which I think if you keep your ear to the ground they will be the next big thing pretty soon called? All Days of Val All Ears of Val All Ears of Val a V O W. Yeah, okay. that's it Yeah, and they are incredible absolutely right. incredible they will be the next big thing I, I'm pretty sure yeah. it's always good when an artist comes in and actually says positive things about another band so yes uh, oh we've got so like many that. good friends in yeah. the, from other bands now the, the tours really help with that we, we just try and network as much as we possibly can meet new people also Danny where are you in terms of new music Have you are you working on stuff what can we look forward we to we are we are absolutely ran off our feet at the minute um, we're writing constantly we've got we've just we've just recorded two new singles um, that we've produced ourselves. Um, we're luckily lucky enough to Harry, our guitarist, works at the uni, so we've been able to rent out some pretty amazing studios through those through them. Um, so they will become at least one of them will be coming out in August, and we're doing a video for that. So keep your ear out for that one. Um, and then we're in September. We are going into the studio with Matty O'Grady. Um, and going to do the second EP with six track EP um, and yeah we're just totally, we're just run off our feet with Ryan with that but can't complain because mm. that's, that, that's the fun bit mm. Fantastic Danny can you tell us where people can get you know more information about you and your work and of the band? Um, so hit us up on Facebook, Instagram um, and if you want to buy the music then our city fires into Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, anything like that. We will come up straight away because it's pretty, pretty random name. Um, so our city fires, and yeah, we, we we are everywhere. We are you will definitely find us if you put us into Google. We're on anything. Everything. Fantastic, Danny. It's been great having you on the show, and uh, do come back in the future and tell us how things are going. Thanks very much for having us on. Yes, yeah, wicked. I'll bring the lads next time. It'll be a lot more rowdy in here. <laughs> Look forward to that. Um, <laughs> finally, uh, we're going to, Danny, we're going to uh, play uh, your second track that you've given us today, which is uh, So Close. Can you uh, t sort of tell us if there's a meaning to the song and also introduce it for us? Um, this is just a. Uh, when I wrote this, I didn't write this about myself. It's just about a, a guy at the end of his tether, I suppose. Um, he's arguing, they're all arguing as a couple a lot. Um, this is off our first EP. Um, and yeah, this is, this is so close. Thank you.
That's our City Fires, and so close. Uh, our final guest has arrived in the studio, and it is uh, Rhett Barrow himself. He's uh, going to be uh, playing some great live music for us. Uh, but first, let's have a track from a Trilogy, Crown Me the King. to be if you do then I'll sing about the hypotheticals I got between you and me and I don't know if this thing has got legs so I keep running away till it's tight instead I'm out of time and it's all I can do to keep it inside because you are mine
That's uh, Trilogy, Crown Me the King, and our final guest on today's show is Rhett Barrow. Take it away, Rhett. That is Rhett Barrow. Thank you, Rhett, and welcome to the show. That was a track called Visions. What was that about? Um, oh, various things, to be fair. Um, it's strange when people ask me what the songs are about. It just, they just seem to come from what I'm feeling and what I'm going through at the time. So, um, yeah, without getting too specific into it, it's just uh, highs and lows, I guess. And, and yeah. So, Rhett, you're... Um Obviously, you're a solo performer, and uh, where do the Deadbeats come in? Uh, Deadbeats is a band that I've had going since 2011, and I've taken on various different lineups and formats. Um, the latest, the latest band that I was working with last year, um, we were on hiatus at the moment. That's what I'm saying. Um, we've, we had a little bit of a break after we released our first single. You know, some of us were going through some stuff and uh, we couldn't really commit fully to the band. So we thought it was a good idea to just have a little break for a while. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be back at some point. Just uh, just taking a bit of time out. So uh, how did you, how did you guys get together right, as a band? Uh, the latest lineup that I was um, last year, oh, it was about two and a half years ago. I actually met my drummer Vike at my open mic night that I run at the Sound House, and. Uh, he was like keen to to form a band with me, and uh, and then my guitarist Sean, I already knew from from a band called the Suicide Bees. I used to play with on uh, I used to play harmonica with, and uh, he he wasn't doing anything at the time, so we got together. And my bass player Rocket, um, I was actually living in a house that he ended up uh, moving in and and taking on my old room. So we met like that, and we just started rehearsing and jamming, and yeah, yeah, that was how it came about. Uh, tell us about the sound house. I mean, uh, uh, first of all, for some of our listeners who may not be familiar with uh, right, what's the open mic night and how do you get into one of those? Uh, I do open mic at the sound house on Tuesday. I've been doing it for nine years this September and it's going really well. It's, it's one of the more popular nights in town, I think. Um, 
And uh, it's like with any night, I suppose, you, you just have to stick with it and be patient because, you know, I mean, it does start off pretty quiet and, but you know, the, lo the longer you go on, I suppose people know that you're there, people get used to the night being on and, uh, you know, word of mouth definitely goes a long way. So, so uh, an open mic night, is that where people uh, who are aspiring musicians can kind of turn up and just play the music, is that how Yeah, it that's it, yeah. yeah. Just anyone of any any uh, level of talent or, you know, anyone that's just starting out. You know, we get people that have not played in years that are picking the guitar up again and coming down. But it's not just acoustic artists, it's it's every genre, really. We get we get uh, rappers down, we get... We get full rock bands down sometimes, so it's it's always interesting and and fun. It's a lovely atmosphere as well, isn't it? I've been down there a couple of times, and the Sound House really uh, they can really do a nice, intimate atmosphere. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, uh, and I like the fact that everybody is rooting for everybody else as yeah. well. Everyone's really encouraging of everybody else, and it feels like you know we're all in it together, and, and that's how it should be. Right, it's all about the music, so the next track you got for us, which you're going to play for us live, is Let It Lie. Yeah, this is another new one. Brett Barrow, and uh, that is Let It Be, Let It Lie, <laughs> Let It Be. That's um, what I could. <laughs> Brett, uh, you're obviously, a, a, you know, um, a well tra a well travelled, you know, a well known on the on the local music uh, scene. Who are your own music influences? Who kind of, you know, oh, do you draw your music from? I've got loads. Um, I'm really into the Kinks. I really love Ray Davis and his songwriting. Um, always been a big influence. Nirvana, um, Beck. Um, a lot of the Brit pop, uh, indie, Oasis. Uh, hello, oh, can you not hear me properly? Yes. You're a bit soft on the vocals today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, the, the Kinks have always been a big inf influence on me. Um, Ray Davis is a songwriter. 
I think he's uh, he's my favourite. Um, I love Nirvana, R.E.M., uh, Beck. Uh, oh, there's so many so many great bands that have influenced me. Really like a lot of the Britpop stuff. Obviously, Oasis were huge when I was growing up, so I definitely took some influence from the Gallagher's. Um, of the Verve as well. I, I, in fact, I play in a Verve tribute band called The Rolling People. Fantastic. Uh, if anyone's oh, right. interested in checking that out, we've got a gig on the 27th of September at the Sound House. Um, yeah, come and check it out. It should be good. And, uh, um, Red, do you do uh, covers or is it all your own material? Um, I like to generally, I mean, all the songs I'm playing today are on my own. Uh, in the Verve tribute, obviously, it's all cover stuff, but uh, I generally, generally like to play my own songs. And the, you mentioned the Sound House. Is that generally like where you're kind of resident, if you like? Is that your main... Well, yeah, it's my resident night. Yeah, I've been doing it for the last nine years uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, also been taking part in some of the summer sessions that have been going on uh, at the weekends at the Sound House. Uh, some Sunday and uh, Saturday afternoons from, from two till six. In fact, there's a really good lineup on today, if anyone's about, and uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, it's all free, free entry. And uh, have you travelled further afield, or are you uh, a Leicester lad? Leicester, Leicester yeah. lad, yeah. I, I live on Tudor Road, well, off Tudor Road, so... Have you thought about performing in this el- area. elsewhere or anything? Because you play locally a lot, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I have, yeah, but I'm restricted because I don't drive. I mean, I suppose I could always jump on the train, but, I mean, I need to get some contacts out of town, really, and start trying to work with some agents and promoters that can possibly get me some support slots. So if there's anyone out there listening, you like what you hear, and you'd like me to get, get me on at one of your venues, just... Uh, Give me a shout on Facebook or something. And uh, away from the Sound House, right, uh, what are some of the other uh, festivals and so on that you play? Um, I've not done any festivals this year. I'm, I'm playing a DH Lawrence Festival in Nottingham, actually, on the 7th of September. And that's the only one I'm doing this year. But um, I generally, tend to, uh, generally got out a bit more with the band last year. Uh, we did Western Park Festival and uh, obviously we did Simon, Simon Says when that was, that was up and running. Um, but yeah, there's not really been that much on the cards for me this year. I've just been trying to focus on on writing some new songs. So. Right, in terms of uh, new music, you working on anything at the moment? Well, all these songs are played just this afternoon are new tracks. So um, I've been uh, demoing some tracks with Joe Scott and hoping to maybe get an EP uh, recorded at some point. But I'm, I'm really bad with all this kind of thing, so... <laughs> I'll say one thing and then... It's all about the music, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. I remember the last few years, you've been saying you're going to bring out an album at some point, haven't you? Well, that one's still <laughs> in the making. I still right. need to get that mixed and mastered. It's actually oh, right. all finished. It's just... Uh, I need to pull my finger out, oh, really. Oh, we're getting there. Brilliant. Well, I'll look forward to that then. Won't hold me breath, though, but, yeah. <laughs> right, finally, um, where, where can people get access to your music and your work? Um, if you'd like to hear my band, Deadbeats, you can find us on uh, Bandcamp... Uh, that's Dead Beats without an A, so it's D-D-B-A-T-S. We released a single last year called Big Fat Fatty on, on Punk, Punk, Fox Re- Punk Fox Records. And, uh, yeah, I'm still really happy about that. So if anyone wants to, to get on, on board with that and have a listen, uh, you can find that online on Bandcamp. Um, you can find my music uh, on, on my Facebook page, uh, Rhett Barrow. Just uh, look me up. Or you can find me on SoundCloud as well. Fantastic. Rhett? Always a pleasure. Uh, final track, sadly, we're going to have to let you go. Final track, Distant Memory. Take it away. Thanks for having the show. I just want to say a shout-out to Tom and Claudio that are listening in Poland, and uh, Shooter, Jasmine, Sean, and, um, and to Jason as well. Uh, this is a new one, short and sweet. Uh, it's called Distant Memory. Remember the days when we were in this had our restrictions, had our commitments. Remember the days when you were very small. Remember the days when you had no cares at all. Do you remember the way it used to be? Or is it just a distant memory? You hold a grudge or turn the other cheek Remember the days when You were my best friend We had our commitments Had our restrictions Remember the days when You were very small Remember the days when 
you had no cares at all Do you remember the way it used to be Or is it just a distant memory Would you know me if you saw me in the street Or is it just a distant memory Thank you. That was our uh, final guest on the show today, live, local and loud. You are uh, in the company of Jazz Minas and Kevin Gorn. And we're going to have a, a quick uh, roundup of uh, some of the great music that Kevin's been uh, to recently and also what we can look forward to on the local music scene. And then we're going to get towards the end of the show, Kevin. Bring yes. It, bring us up to date, bring us up to speed. Oh, shall I tell you about the week I've had, Jazz? Absolutely, had the, Kevin. The most amazing week ever. Um, gig wise I went to a lovely 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 gig um, well it was, it was last night actually wasn't it at, um, God, they all seem to all the nights merge merge together um, it was last, last night at Soundhouse went to see Boats on the Ocean fantastic little acoustic number they're not local themselves but they were supported by Dumb Language which were really really good they're sort of like um, what was it like the streets yeah um, so that was nice indie music um and then what was it a couple of couple of nights before that i went to i went to the shed actually for a heavier a heavier night which was really 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 good whose band names i may be able to remember shortly oh yeah your life and mine saw them at the shed they were very very good as well touring band amazing sweaty atmosphere so that was lovely um so yeah loads of stuff going on in the gig scene if you want to find out more um just have a look at www.musicinleicester.co.uk we've got a amazing calendar um, of gigs coming up and as far as gigs that are coming up well tonight um, we've got Jules headline and cookie at, um, which is going to be very hot and sweaty that's been sold out tonight um, so that'll be great uh, you we music in Leicester are going to be reviewing tonight's gig as well so if you want to read about it have a look at music in Leicester in the next few days and also um, on Monday there's um, Sugar Rush um, band headline who I've not seen before headlining at um, that's at the sound house as well um, they're supported by Border who are a local band adults small man society um, so that'll be uh, yeah that'll be a fine gig that's down at the sound house um, and yeah loads of stuff going on and not to not to forget of course our city fires playing on Thursday um, that uh, that Danny was talking about earlier that's an amazing lineup it's got five bands playing then five bands jazz fantastic starting. I know Graves are playing as well which is a great um, grungy rocky band as well as Luna Kiss Dark Bloom I think it'll be Dark Bloom's second uh, second gig and Endeavour and Our City Fires headlining so that'll be awesome jazz fantastic Kevin you're coming down absolutely great I look forward to seeing you there as always it's been a pleasure hope uh, you've enjoyed the show and many thanks to our guests today and we had uh, our city fires we had uh, comprehend and uh, of course uh, Rhett Barrow 